Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Subnautica, where we are afraid of everything. I've just made some more lockers to store some things in because my inventory was completely full. And uh, we don't also don't have any more space in the locker inside of this thing. And even more things is we have a radio message, so let's check that out first. See this what's is Avery going Quinn on. Of trading ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. No, we do not. These Altera ships. They run low on engine grease, send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. That's rude. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. Obviously. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's gonna have us blowing our credits running errands for Altera. Mm -hmm. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime. Well, obviously, if they are trying to uh, get in touch with us and we're not, we have sent a uh, distress signal and they can't get in touch with us, something has to be wrong. But I do hope they can make that connection. So, today, I think since they're trying to contact us on the Aurora, maybe. And we probably should, and I'm speaking in circles, we should get to the Aurora and see what we can salvage there. But for that, we are going to need the radiation suit and the sea glide. So uh, we should probably get on... We should probably get the sea glide, but we need one more part for that now. How do we find the boat? Hmm. Okay, let's swim over to the LifePod 3 uh, coordinates again and go see what we find there. On the way there maybe we'll find something interesting. I don't know. Mostly probably something scary. But maybe I missed the I missed the second part um, while we were looking there. It has to be there somewhere. I can't think that it won't be. But while we're heading over there, let's check out this cave over here. Perhaps there is something interesting. Other than... Nope, doesn't look like it. We're just gonna find one-eyed explody boys in there. And I have had enough of those. And then we have some more of the sawtooth bitey bastards in there. I wonder if you'll be able to make some kind of weapon eventually, because that is going to help immensely. But it seems from the description of the survival package that these people are very peaceful in that they won't even allow weapons in their survival packages and I have lo left my survival knife at home which wasn't smart I wonder if I can catch this rabbit ray no can't okay let's see nothing nothing there that's not a thing that's not a thing there really isn't anything left in here that I can see. Hmm. Wonder what'll happen if I self scan. Nothing. Okay. We've got some wreckage over here. Oh, you can scan it. Geological data, scattered wreckage. Okay. Analysis confirmed this wreckage is part from the Aurora. Outer layers of the material have oxidized, suggesting it has been heated to over 1,200 Celsius. This pattern is consistent with hull disintegration during atmospheric entry. Salvage of intact portions of Altera vessels is prohibited at legal, moral, and technical levels. However, scrap shots, well, scraps such as these. That is a very scary sound. May be reclaimed for their titanium content at any Altera fabricator. Which we know by now. I don't like that sound. 
at all. I really don't. Okay, let's just get some oxygen. Then we really need to find this piece of the glider, which has to be here somewhere. I think. I hope. Let's see. Can I scan this thing? No. Hmm. 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 Those guys are gonna kill me. Wonder if they made off with the thing I need. They probably did. They look like the kind of people who would. Salt. Salt is good. Salt's good. Some more wreckage that I don't need right now. Hmm. I wonder if there's some kind of locator or something. What does this do? Oh! Mobile vehicle bay fragment. That's not what we need. Uh-huh, 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 okay. Well, we'll probably need that later, so that's fine, but that's not what we're looking for right now. There's more salt, which I think we'll get. Still no sign of what I'm looking for. There is not exactly not what I'm looking for. Detecting increased foreign bacteria levels in the water. Okay. Performing a self scan is advised. Self scan complete. Self -scan detecting. Complete. No, 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 no. Okay. Normal. Detecting trace amounts Ooh, what's of this? foreign bacteria. Continuing to monitor. Scan that guy. Interesting. Hoop fish. That's cool. Uh, real pretty fish, but not. Ooh, they glow. That is pretty. Okay, let me just see if I've missed something about this glider. Okay, so more searching of the area yielded no results, but we do seem to have another radio message. So let's go check that out real quick. And if I remember correctly, the last time we were in that area, we found some kind of compass or something or another voice log that they recorded on the sea glide or something but I couldn't find that just now so that's strange I thought maybe that they mentioned the direction that they were going in or something like that it does seem like I can make the radiation suit I do have all the materials but I'm afraid to swim I think there's a really deep area between me and the Aurora and I'm afraid to swim over that uh, chasm um, all by my lonesome I'm afraid if uh, we swim too slowly some big monster is gonna get us some big monster is probably gonna get us anyway but you know what I mean anyway so let's just get back to the escape pod and check out this radio message maybe it helps maybe it doesn't we can only hope that it does. Ugh. There we go. Give us some good news. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. Mm -hmm. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. Yes, you did. I didn't know how bad... how many of you... I, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. I don't know either. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. So that's good, what is that... What else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that hmm. small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a bad option, all right, but so are all the others. Okay. These guys aren't being very... Um, very helpful. No. Let's see, maybe I put that compass in here... Gonna take my knife though. Might need that. There we go. Uh, do, 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 do. I've got flares, I've got all these things, but no compass. Let's see. Maybe in the fabricator. Personal equipment. It's got a floating air pump, pipes, a compass, for which I need a wiring kit. 
So how do we make a wiring kit? Wiring kit, wiring kit. We need silver ore and we've only got one. So let's go find silver ore. Although I'm not... Uh, uh, I'm not convinced that the compass is going to help. Let's see about making... Let's just make the radiation suit. Uh, fiber mesh 2 led to... I think we do have one fiber mesh uh, so we're gonna need we have enough lead sorry about that we have enough lead we just need some fiber mesh fiber mesh now how do we make that creep bind samples which is easy I think to get let's go get that make the radiation suit and see if we can swim over to the Aurora without where am I even going without the Sea glide. Well, I found this big debris field while looking for creep pine clusters, so maybe there's something interesting here. Oh, cargo. Can I open these? No. What? Oh, that is broken. Car counter. Okay. Okay. Scan. All right, so apparently we have a new... Oh, boy. That's not good. That's not what we want at all. What is that? That looks interesting. Can we scan this? We can't. All right. So we're in this creepine field. Let's get some creepine clusters and get out of here. Oh, radiation. No, 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 no. That is not what we want at all. So I have to drink something. What? Am I dropping? Am I... What am I doing? Did I drop my water? That's stupid. Where did it go? Okay, it's probably gone forever now. Uh, right, creep vines. Boy, those one-eyed explody boys can really ruin your day. Anyway, we've got the creep vine samples. And by the way, I got creep vine clusters instead. Swam all the way over here and realized that it was the wrong thing. So that was that was fun. I guess. So now we need to make the radiation suit. There it is. Fantastic. Okay, now I just need to put some things away and then perhaps I should also get... Uh, come on. I should get some food because I don't have a lot of food. Radiation suit Radiation helmet, radiation gloves. Okay, that's good. So let me just go and catch some things so we can be on our way. I, I think I heard the, heard, I think I heard the, um, the radio just now. Or maybe I'm going crazy. So we're gonna need, there it is, a bladder boy. And let's grab some of these boomerangs while we're at it. Bladder boy, two of them, if I can get my hands on these slippery fellows. There's one, another one, oh, and another one. And what was this strange fish? A whole fish! It's got a hole in it. Sons, sons, it's got a hole in it. In it. And, and that is all I have to say about the whole fish. Very, very wise words. Which I think is why so many people watch my channel. And, uh, Explody Boy again. Alright, I think that's enough water for now. Let's go purify it, and then we will be on our way. Here we go, to the Aurora and or our eventual deaths or inevitable deaths even. Um, I am very very scared to tell you the truth. 
to be completely honest, I am terrified. I'm sure there is some big thing in these waters. Because I can hear it. And I dislike the sound. But here we go, though. Let's see how far it is. It's still very far. It's still very far. What is that? What was that? Nothing. That's... Oh, there is a new thing. It is a new thing, isn't it? It's so ugly. Spade fish. Short range scans suggest this biome supports extensive mm -hmm. biodiversity mm -hmm. and connects to a number of small cave networks. I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing. We will find out though. Let's check out this. We have a light, so we might as well use it. Let's check out this area. What is that? No, wait, no, 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 it's fine. It's fine. I don't need to know. What is this, though? Wait. I can scan it. Where is it? Oh, good. It died, and I am glad. All right. Let's see how far we are. Pretty close. Might just make it. I'm just gonna get out the light here. So far. Not. We're not too dead. We are more alive so far than I expected. And there are much fewer giant Godzilla like monsters also. Than I expected, and I can't say for certain that I am not disappointed. But I can say for certain that I'm not not disappointed. So there's that. That looks like something new over. That looks like something dangerous over there. Also new. So we're just gonna not go there. Okay, here we are. Okay, okay, okay. This is... Undoubtedly not an entrance over here. Not even close to an entrance. So they're not gonna make this easy it would seem I can always use more salt wonder there's some quartz over there hmm I feel like I should be going faster you know what is this titanium special equipment required can't scan it Now you see. Now you see now. Whatever is going on over there, I would like to avoid. To avoid. I, I'm not interested. I don't want to see what it is. I'm not curious in any way. What it is that is going on over there. Life form readings in this region are sparse. The Aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem uh, if not contained within what is the next 24 hours. Are they fighting each other? I hope they are because I... You, you guys just sort that out. I'm not interested. Are they following me? Nope. Doesn't look like it. There's another one, and they... Whatever that is, looks... Entirely unfriendly. Can I go in... Over here, somewhere? No? 
Can I go in over here? Yes. Yes, I can. So now the question is... Is this gonna be the entrance? Or did I come all the way over here for nothing? Let's see, so... Hmm... Let's go through here... This is not... The entrance... At all... Go up here. There's no way in. Or maybe there's a way in over there. Luckily there's no monsters. Which is a small... Oh. This... Looks bad. Oh no 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 no. Can I kill it? Can I scan it? No, don't you dare. Indigenous, okay, cave crawler, okay. Ah, oh, I'm gonna have to kill it. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? For sure this game needs guns though. Because this isn't gonna do it. What are you? And how can I kill you more effectively? Okay, got him once. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hold still. Got him twice. These little guys are, uh... Resilient. <gasps> oh, come on! Just die. Uh oh, this one is green. That makes it more powerful. This is, it's just logical. It's just how the world works. Supply case. Disinfected water! This is why I came here. For the disinfected water. Yeah, just sit still. There we go. There we go. We are the bestest. So this is not an entrance. Desk. You can scan the desk. This is entirely why we came to this place. How can we can we not get past this? This is really, really bothersome, to say the least. Maybe we need the um, repair tool? We don't need the repair tool, I'm sure. But maybe we need the base building tool to destroy this? Let me see. Well, I, obviously I don't have a base building tool, metal salvage. What did I have in that thing's place? Just put that there. Um, we don't have a base building too. Let me check that out. There's a thing over here. Um, I, I swam around the place some more to see if there wasn't another entrance, but there wasn't. And uh, I think we essentially came over here to learn how to make a bench and get attacked by sea spiders, but... Not everything in the name of science. Let's open this. A battery! Hooray! Batteries! Where's that thing? There it is. This is what we are looking for. This will change everything. Everything is now changed. Hey! <laughs> Yay! No, but for real, what is that though? A creature decoy. Might come in handy. Um, okay, I'm gonna make my way back to the escape pod and see about that base building tool. <laughs> Look at this! I almost 
died when I swam over it because it made this unearthly sound. This unearthly sound. And I thought it was gonna kill me. Sure takes some scanning though. Indigenous life form, rich back Leviathan. Where is do I have Oh this vast life form in excess of 30 meters long and has been designated Leviathan class. Unfortunately, it feeds exclusively on plankton like. Fortunately, life forms in the water. Kite in the shell, most of the life forms top side is. Suggestion of, suggests an evolutionary path quite different from other organisms. Da -da -da -da. Enzyme pods. Yeah, gas pod things. Local microcosm. Yeah, yeah. Harbors plants, small fish, and metal rich barnacles. That is really cool. And I love the fact that it is, didn't kill me. I will be forever grateful for that. Anyway, back to the escape pod. It's got fish and things on it that I've never seen before. Pick up Eye Eye. <laughs> Whoa! I would have never guessed. From that name, that it had a giant eye. All right, we're we're very good at naming things. I wonder if it's me. That is, break the barnacle. Copper ore. That's cool. That's cool. Some more silver, which is exactly what we needed for. I can't remember what. Copper. I like these things a lot more now. Regress shell. That's also new. Okay. Enough of that. Let's get back there for real now. Just in case you were still wondering about the eye eye. Its bio says it's an extreme evolutionary adaptation where 90% of the life force body mass is dedicated to ocular cavity. Mm-hmm. It has an oversized eyeball, apparently, which deep set rings in the lens suggest specialization for identifying its creatures in low light environment long before they come into attack range. Underdeveloped fins. Yeah. It has a low calorie count. Um so I guess it's not good for eating, but it wonder if it gives you good eyesight, like eating carrots or whatever. Why, w why are we here? Oh, right. For the things. Okay, we don't need that. Electronics, we need tools. And we need the base building tools. Habitat builder. Oh boy. Computer chip wiring kit. I think we can make the wiring kit. Just need one more ore. Silver ore. She, which is in here. It is in here, yes. Sorry. Keep doing that. Keep hitting escape. Alright, wiring kit. Finally. And then, I hope that lasts us forever. And then, I don't think we know how to make a computer chip. So, do we have to... Uh, how to make a computer chip? Oh, we can. We need table coral sample, gold, and copper wire. We have everything except the table coral. So let's go do that then. We have the habitat builder. And this better get us into the aurora, I tell you what. But I'm going to swim over there. And we are going to find a way into it. Even if I have to blow it up or something. We're back. And the lady, the uh, computer lady, just told me, uh, which she neglected to say last time, that we're gonna need laser cutters. And this doesn't work. It doesn't work. It does nothing. I am very disappointed. But, I saw an area back here where we can go up, so maybe we're lucky we can make some progress at least I don't know where we're gonna learn the laser cutter because as far as I know we can't make it 
I'm not gonna even try to engage these spider jerks. Leave me alone! Alright, see what's up here. Might get lucky. Also, we need fire suppression tools. And I seem to have left mine back at home. Scans show the digestive tracts of nearby life forms contain human tissues. Ooh. That sounds good. There's no... Is this a way in? This is not a way in. This is not a way in. Go away! There is no way in. <sighs> we found the sea glide fragment in the vicinity of a whole bunch, a whole mess of explody bastards, boy bastards, whatever. But now we have. We can make the sea glide, you guys. That's good. That's good. And now there, there's another sea glide fragment. Now that I have, now that I have found it, I can keep finding it over and over again. Hooray! And by the way, it turns out you have to get the laser cutter from fragments as well. So we're gonna have to do. A whole mess more of exploring and scanning and screaming and dying and crying 30 seconds and suffocating it's gonna be an adventure found a beacon fragment another beacon fragment also a uh, sawtooth bitey bastard oh my goodness Okay, he's not chasing us. We've got a radio message. Let's listen, shall we? Listen. This is Life Pod 6. I have a passenger mm -hmm. on board. Coordinates attached. Hooray! We're a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Six out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate oh. transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see what we need to make that thing first. Beacon. Navigation aid maintains and broadcasts its position. Configurable name. I don't think we need that now. We need lubricant, battery, copper wire. And I think. I think we have those. So. Hmm. 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 I'm sure that I picked up a battery somewhere, but I didn't. I, I have lubricant though, so lubricant, battery, copper wire. What do we need to make a battery then? Advanced wiring kit, we don't need that. Our cell, battery, acid mushroom. Those are plentiful. Let's get those, make the battery, get the glider. And if we have time left, we're gonna go to uh, Escape Pod 6. Because they, if they are alive, I will be very happy. If they are not, they better have some things for me. Otherwise, I will be very disappointed in them. There we go, battery. Sea Glide. We've got it. Now, why do we need to run the Sea Glide? The sea glide will increase your effective exploration range. Mm -hmm. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers okay. of the nearest life pod or habitat. It is powered by... Converse torque into thrust underwater by... What does it use, though? Okay. Does it use a battery? Or a power cell is the question. Uh, two batteries, silicon, rubber. Let's let's do make a power cell though, and just in case we run out of juice on the way, 
and then we will go exploring. Just making the power cell here, so I'm making one more battery. There we go. Power cell, we need silicon rubber, which we have. So we'll make that. Electronics, power cell. And we're ready to go exploring in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time when we go further, faster, and uh, better. Goodbye.